Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here, and today we will be taking a look at Garshasp Temple of the Dragon. This standalone expansion serves as a prequel to the original Garshasp, which was developed and published by Dead Mage, an independent developer set in Texas. The game itself is very derivative of God of War style of gameplay. You focus on using light and heavy attacks, as well as stringing together combos and using quick time events during large enemy and boss battles. Here in this video I will be showing you some gameplay from Garshasp Temple of the Dragon, as well as giving you my general thoughts and impressions on the game. First thing I do want to show you here though before we jump in is that there are no settings available while playing the game. You can actually only configure settings prior to launching Garshasp Temple- I can't even say the name- Garshasp Temple of the Dragon. So there's these various profiles and you configure basically the settings that you want for each profile, but that's about it. Uh, and I know some games do this, for example Skyrim does this, I'm just not the biggest fan. I like to be able to adjust my audio and visual settings while playing, that way I can find things that- I can find the setting configuration that I enjoy without having to continuously exit the game, reset things, and then launch it back up. Uh, just a little gripe here, but let's hop into the game and find out why exactly Garshasp Temple of the Dragon is a $5 title. I have to warn you, brace yourself. Because this is pretty bad. This is our hero, Garshasp. Just hacking at some ferns. And here's his brother. We've been searching this forest for days. I'm tired. He's tired. Father said we'd find his manuscripts. Why haven't we then? Athrad said we may. And it's not important if we don't find it. I'm sure we're going the right way. Come along. <laughs> well, at least let's take a rest. I'm your brother. Can't you see I'm dying? <laughs> we can't wait. Something in this forest is chasing after us. This is so bad. Can't you feel it? What? I don't feel anything. But I should say, this forest is not a safe place at all. Father said it's full of ogres and demons. This is so... The dragon wants to stop me. Bad. Athrat said his mace is hidden somewhere in the forest. And I'll kill any animal who'd block my way. Uh-oh. Watch out. No. Oh. oh, no teeth. Like grandpa. Is it worth this much trouble? Yes, it's worth it. We should separate here. This way we'll find the mace easier. I don't want to find a mace, and I'm not going anywhere. Stop being a coward. Search the left side. You may find a clue there. We'll meet on the stone bridge. This is the temple of the dragon. The dragon called by two edge. What if the dragon comes up? Should I fight with this? <laughs> Listen to me, boy. Don't sass me. I shouldn't be here. A sword. What can I do with this piece of metal? Hm. Athrat's mace. Now look. Why should anything I want? I'm sorry for complaining through that entire thing, but every aspect of that opening cinematic was awful. The voice acting, the <laughs> The character, like, mouth movement, the animations of that, did not match up with a single word. And <laughs> just the dialogue itself, like, there was not one redeeming... I think the only redeeming part of that entire thing was, I don't know if you noticed, but I think this guy has grills. Yes, he's got, like, shiny teeth. So, he's he's big pimpin'. Alright, we're gonna be moving with WASD. This game has no camera control. Uh, camera is... camera control is done for you. Now, there are other games that do this. This is not the only game that's done this, but, you know, I'm moving my mouse left and right and nothing's happening. Uh, the camera is just gonna follow your character on a set path. Now, this can be good if it's done well, or it can be terrible. I guess we'll find out how the camera looks in this game. Let's, uh, pick this up with E. Nothing was remained to burn from the iron armor. A little lore. The body of Sham. Do the sword wounds of the Ashmogs. We did as he had returned. And why am I staring at this Left page with gibberish on it? For his soul to return to the w nature. What? I felt lonely seeing the carnivorous birds flying over his dead body. <laughs> I can't I can't get over this. Alright, look. Look. Let me just say this here. 
if you're going to make a game and you want spe specific lore sections to also include a page, it needs to be legible or in a language. Is that is that a, that that might be a language? I don't know. That might be a language. That might be a real language, or it could be gibberish. But you know what? If you're making an English version of the game, then this needs to be in English because I don't understand a damn thing that that says. So why am I looking at it? What was the point of that? No, no point. No point. This game is off to a fantastic start. All right, here we go. Finally some combat. Maybe there'll be some redeeming here. So we've got light and heavy attacks with left and right mouse button. We can also inter interact with enemies by pressing E. I guess that means, oh, I can throw them on the ground and stab them in the face. Okay. I guess that puts me susceptible to uh, getting hit. We'll see if that actually is the case. Let's find out here. So I can grab any enemy and do this. It looks like they will not hit me while that is happening. Uh, so that is good to know. I can also dodge, which I found by using the... T is that the tab key? No, it's... That's another key. This is the shift key. Yeah, using the shift key is going to dodge here, so that's good. But this is pretty interesting, because if I just walk up to these guys, I don't know if it's based on their HP level or what, but I think I can just keep doing this, and no one will engage me. Let's see if I can just keep doing this and have no one even have the option of attacking me, because I just throw... Yeah, this is working very well so far. I There is no danger in this combat. I am just going to do this for every single enemy throughout the entire game, and <laughs> are you serious? Can I do this to er <laughs> What? What the shit? Oh man, this is great, this is a great game. Alright, so here we go, camera's moving around, let's see here, we gotta go over here, jump, spacebar, oh gosh, okay, there we go, and jump, yeah, alright, see if this continues to work, E, no one will engage me, oh, different animations at least, that's good. So, are you, are you, you gotta be kidding me. I can just keep doing this. How does, how would you make this game and not think that someone would have used that? And how is it so that I can do this without any other precursor necessary? Like, this kind of thing makes sense if, say, you know, you need to be, the enemy needs to be beneath a certain HP or something. Can I hit this guy? I can't hit him. Maybe he's special. Okay, so there we go. I can't just do it to everyone, apparently. Maybe it's just uh, generic mobs that I can do that with, in which case that's not so bad. It's still pretty bad, though. I mean, whatever. We'll kill this guy pretty quickly here. I think so. Yep, he's dead. All right. And I got a floating skull. And anything else? You can slide down some... Oh, no! <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, that's great. That's great. Let's do that again. Okay, that 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 was perfect. Perfect. Okay, we'll just kill these three in a matter of seconds. Remember, you can just spam this all day. No one will engage with you while you're doing it, so it's no big deal. Oh, that guy! I huh? missed that guy. Big surprise too. The control scheme is not the tightest <laughs> and not the most responsive in the world. I know. I know. Hold back your shock. Well, I guess I know now I can just fall off ledges, so I should be careful to avoid that for future reference. Ooh, look at that little combo thing. Okay, so light, light. I did light, light, heavy. I think I did two light and a heavy. That's what that was. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, silly goose? And dodge towards him. He's casting a spell. Get out of the way. I'm not going to get to him in time. Get out of the way. There's a spell. There's a spell. Stop doing your spell. You're dead? Okay, so let's try not to fall off the ledge this time. Is it going to tell me how to do it? You can slide down some walls. Yeah, how? How? Tab? Ta no, not tab. Uh, nope! What? I, I don't know. I'm going to keep moving, though. I don't know how I survived that, but I'm just going to keep moving. What is this thing? Interact with it. Pull that off. And that's life. That is life. I don't know what this is. Can I interact with it or kill it? Nope. Oh, I can kill it. Okay, good. All right, so we're dodging. We're dodging. We're sliding around. We're doing all these things. We're going to move over here now. You can interact with the key to save. That's a key. All right, we're saving. 
game has been saved. Wonderful. We will keep moving. For some odd reason, frame rate has dropped. Uh, this game is not very demanding, so I don't know why. <laughs> Look, yeah, the ca this is great. Look at how far all the cameras now zooming in. That's great too. Wow. All right, yeah, that was cool. Very edgy, guys. Good job. Oh no, spike. Oh, puzzles. Yes, puzzles. Let's solve some puzzles here in Garshasp Temple of the Dragon. Yeah, I get it. Spikes come up. There's a pattern. I gotta learn it. Should I be learning it now? I guess so, if they're continuously continuing to show me this here. Okay, so we got some... Uh, so that one was live. What is this one? Special? Is it a special attack or something? Okay, I guess so. I don't need life right now. Okay, so there's some sort of a pattern here. Try to watch this. Can I just go? Ooh! Oh no, I died. Let's go back to the last checkpoint. Try it again. Okay, Garshasp. get a good vantage point here. Okay, so it continues to go around. And then randomly just shoots up in the middle. Continues to go around, continues to go around. Randomly shoots up in the middle, continues to go around, continues to go Oh no, almost made it, almost made it that time. Yeah, that was close. That was close, let's try it again. Let's try it again, this game is awesome. So it's gonna continue to move around, there we go. We're gonna just go in the middle. There it is. I figured it out. So we're gonna kick that down. And that solves our problem. No more spikes. All right, good. And we got some bosses. Let's do that. Guy looks kind of cool. If you like dogs, spikes in their head. Oh, no. He's angry. Here I am, just a regular old Garshasp. I'm just a Garshasp. That didn't work out too well for me. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna try to do heavy attacks against him anymore. Yeah, this is this is the great camera control that I was expecting here. Not being able to see the boss half the time. There's also a zero indicator of uh, enemy health. Can I hit him with a heavy to stop that blocking? No, looks like I just have to get out of the way now. Yeah, there's no indication of enemy health, so I don't know like how far along I am to killing him or what. Let's try to get this. See if he can still hit me here, huh? Yeah, oh, no, I guess not. All right, there you go. Gotta try to dodge out of the way there. It's not really working so well, though. Come on, Garshasp. You got it. Give me my $5 worth. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, good. That's good. We got any, like, chest here or anything? What's that? That's rubble. Alright. Anything else? No. I think I'm being nauseous. This camera is killing me. More puzzles. Yes, I'm, I'm really good at those. So this should be exciting. We got a block there. A, a risen mini pillar there. We got the save point and a life over there. So that's our end goal, I guess. That's where we're going to. Gar Shasp's maximum health will be increased by obtaining four of those things. All right. So let's try this. Let me step on this. Ah, yes, here it is. Grab this and we move it around. So you can see the, you can see like the God of War in this here, right? Is it gonna go stop right there? Yeah, it will. You can see the God of War-ness with this because the God of War-ness with this. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. 
you know, various puzzles, little hack and slash adventure stuff, which is exciting. I can't go over that. So we're gonna go back this way. I'm still getting random frame drops, which make no sense on my system. Uh, that's just, that's just gonna be this being not optimized. Now again, what do you expect from a $5 title? You spend $5 on a game, what do you expect it to be? What do you think you're gonna get? You're gonna get a game worth five bucks, and I think that's what we have here, my friends. All right, time for some more. Oh, another one of these guys, all right. I can dig. Now can I, yes, I can grab these guys, so I can buy myself some time and just kill one of these guys after another. Yep, just grab you two, that's, this is the hardest part of this game. Try to try to see if I can dodge his attacks at all. Doesn't seem to really work that way. Dodge back! I don't know. Just like the controls are just so damn unresponsive. I've played plenty of games like this before, and been able to dodge away from people. Not here in Garshasp. Maybe Garshasp just a little bit slow. Maybe that's what he gets for being a jerk. I mean, the game doesn't look bad for five bucks, visually speaking. It, I mean, again, for five, yeah, five bucks, yeah, it looks all right. I'll jump up here. Just the, uh, God damn it. Can I climb this thing? Please. I hate you. Maybe I just needed to go in here and kill this and I should be going back. I can't go back. Can I? Are you serious? Go up here? <laughs> what? Well, my friends, this may uh, conclude our adventure in Garshasp. With Garshasp, Temple of the Dragon. This might conclude our adventure in the Temple of the Dragon. Unless I can go down here. Come on. Yeah, this is it. I know it. You gotta be kidding me. You know, I'd love to check settings here. Well, how about help? This doesn't tell me anything. Uh, e, 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 let's try E. Let's try E over here. That might do it. E, interact. Int Damn it, I know you could get up there. They told me I could slide down walls. Can I slide up walls? Is there a map? M, no. Do I hit E over here? This is definitely not it. Yep, that's it. That concludes our adventure with Garshasp. I'm, I'm hitting everything on my mouse and my keyboard and I am not getting up this wall. Is there something to move? I wish I could control the camera, that'd be great. You know, I could see things that I wanted to look at. Try to figure things out. All right, well, this is a $5 game, Garshasp, Temple of the Dragon. It, uh, you know, it's got some hack and slash combat. You can do some things. Oh, I got it! Yes, we're gonna stay in the game. We're gonna check it out a little more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I had to jump and then hit E. I don't get it. This idiot. Okay, so it just shows you ahead of time where the spikes are going and then you just avoid those. There's the, there's ones going right there. This one's going right there. Oh, what? No. It makes me fight idiots in this too. I guess that's fair. Wish I could knock them back or something. Make them stay on here, stay on it. Yeah, buddy. More of them, huh? I'm almost dead. Freak this noise. Little last checkpoint. I'm doing. I'm, I'm getting past those guys at the least. I'm showing you that much of Garshasp. 
Guess it didn't help that I didn't take that, huh? Yeah, I agree. Pick up that orb. You know, I mean, there's... Alright, so let's, let's, let's be fair here. Again, for five bucks, you get some combat. You get some things you can do. The problem is that there are free games that are probably going to be a hell of a lot more entertaining for you. And, um... I don't know that we should encourage this kind of game by purchasing it. Like, I don't know that we should tell these developers, Hey, this is good, what you did here, this is good, good job, I'm gonna pay you five bucks for that. You know? It's... I just can't... I just can't get over. And I'm, I'm super happy of one thing, I'm super happy that we haven't had to sit through any more cinematics, because that would have been... That would have been... Way too much for me to handle. Another round of those beautiful, beautiful sinnies. Those sinnies. That guy's dead. Thank you. No, not completely dead. Those guys got him. Got him. That dude. Yeah, that does it. All right. Yeah, Garshasp. You're the man. Did you? Also, did you see how rude he was to his brother at the beginning of this? I can't take anyone that mean seriously. He obviously just has plenty of issues. All right, so we're gonna do some jump in here. Oh yeah, this game looks like it's a prime platformer. I can't, can only imagine. How, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, snap. All right, this is good, this is good. This is real good, oh yeah guys, let's do this. I'm excited to do some platforming here with Garshasp. So am I just supposed to keep, keep at it here? Mm. Garshasp, the jumper extraordinaire. Garshasp. Garshasp. Can I, like, knock this over or something? It looks like I'm supposed to, like, try to separate this or something. I can't imagine I really wish I could move my camera so I could take a look around. Can I jump? <laughs> and that has been a look at Garshasp, Temple of the Dragon, for $5, developed and published by Dead Mage. Let me read you a little bit about the game. The mighty mythological hero Garshasp travels into distant lands in search of the secrets hidden in the Temple of the Dragon. Unaware of his inability to jump, nope, that's not it. Unaware of the hidden dangers and creatures awaiting him in the cursed lands. So we play as Garshasp in this hack and slash expansion to the original Garshasp the Monster Slayer. Garshasp can't jump. Garshbat. Garshbashp. This game is really bad. Guys, don't, please don't buy this. Don't encourage this type of game development. Freaking shit. Keep watching and keep owning. Don't do anything that I did in this game, though. This was bad. <laughs>